hi guys this is Ravi from Astra and today I'll be showing you how you can set up remote uh, workplaces with Astra and here in this system currently I have set up Astra for 11 workplaces and this is only using one physical monitor which is connected to place one and all the other monitors are connected via HDMI dummy adapters or VGA dummy adapters connected through mini DPI to VGA active adapter and mini DPI to HDMI adapters so uh, I've already set it up um, I'll show the adapters and how they are connected to the computer in a later part of the video for now I'm going to show you how you can can set up the aster to run on startup so first of all open run prompt by pressing on the windows and r and then type here cell startup and then press enter it will open the startup folder for this user account and i'm going to copy anodex from my d drive to this folder now after copying this anodex to the startup folder it will start automatically when the user account logs in to the workplace and before we log off this user account and set up the another user account we have to set on attended password for this index as well as note down the index address here the address is 616 520 and 793 uh, you have to click on this hamburger icon here and then choose set password then in the password type in the password that you want to set for the unattended access so, uh, you can set password for screen sharing full access and other profiles as well uh, which are available in NDS. for now i'm going to put it as unattended access as i don't want user to wait for permission or wait, wait for the index uh, to be accepted by another user so after this has set up when you you don't have to do anything else but when you are asked do you like NDX and thank you very much. would you like to install NDX now click on no if you install NDX it will install itself as a service and which causes the workplaces to show the same NDX address instead of showing different addresses to be able to remote into individual workplaces you have to only run NDX application by simply double clicking on the exe file otherwise you'll get same index address if you install it so let me do another one sign up so let me do user 4 sign in in the user 4 it has not been set so let me do like earlier okay um, let me copy the file and use factory exe and here it is double click it once hamburger icon set password and then set the password you can set individual password for each workplaces uh, in my case this is for demo purpose so i'm setting all the password same similarly do the same for each and every workplaces and once you are done you will be able to remote into individual workplaces using index and from anywhere in the world so i'm doing the last oh sorry fifth one copy paste um, hamburger icon as you can see the index address is different for each workplace that I have been setting so far all of the user accounts have been set with the index address uh, so I'm going to forcefully log in them once so that they start the anydesk application automatically do keep in mind when doing force relogging, it's normal to see screen flickering as uh, Windows is doing re rendering of the desktop for corresponding workers.
so while all of the workplaces are getting logged in I will show you how the workplaces sorry how the remote workplaces are set up and if you see here now these are the dummy adapters that I was mean that I mentioned earlier this is uh, VGA dummy adapter connected to display port to active VGA active adapter and there are one two three four five six seven connected in the system and these white ones are mini GP to SDMI adapters and this is using a dummy SDMI adapter so overall uh, there are 11 monitors connected to this four from the bottom graphics card and six from the top graphics card one is connected to the SDMI port on the motherboard and I also have one more left here DVI port although I haven't used that one it's possible to make 12 uh, workplaces using Astra and dummy adapters so if you see here almost all of the all of the indexation uh, have started so these are four. Let me on number four side by side so you can see it properly. Okay, so, so these are the next four. since all of them are listed here I'm just not showing properly but as you can see all of the workplaces uh, 11 workplaces that I've created are available here and you can see this is terminal 11 and all of the workplaces have started and if I do like this then it will show the monitor number and with AnyDesk uh, it's possible to change your monitor resolution during the session of the remote uh, however the resolution will get reset it after the computer reboots once so it's not an issue if uh, you get remote it's, a, it's not an issue if you remote into a workplace and the resolution is not how what you want it to be so let me show you an example okay this one mm, this would be press settings let me check okay as you can see here the resolution is not optimal i can change it to recommended keep changes so resolution is normal and remote access is quite fast as well uh, it uh, sometimes lags a bit um, depending on your internet connection but most of the time it's full right and if i run um, FPS, UFO, okay. so frame rates, and you can see here you are getting steady 60 FPS. The frames are quite good, and you don't get any less. If you want, you can do some gaming as well. So, thank you for watching the video, and uh, stay. I'll put the devices that uh, have been used for this test in the description of the video. Description of this video. So thank you for watching. Have a good day.